Today, brought to you by Washington Trust. We're living in a, uh, a rising rate world between inflation and loan rates on the rise. It's getting harder and harder to make ends meet. So how can you actually save some of your hard-earned money? Well, here with some tips is Deb Gormley, Executive Vice President and Chief Retail Banking Officer at Washington Trust. Good to see you, Deb. Good to see you too, Will. Thanks so much for coming in today. Oh, my pleasure. Okay, so so we you you turn the news on, you hear about the the interest rates that are rising. What do people need to know uh, if they're if they're thinking about doing really anything? And, yeah. and when they hear it, should they be in a panic mode? No. Okay. I don't think they should be in a panic mode. Um, I think they need to think about the things that they want to do mm -hmm. first, and whatever those goals are, then we can help them. Okay. Because we want the, the person coming in or the person calling us to kind of have a sense or we'll ask them what are the goals for the money that you have because rates are rising yes and that's a good thing for the deposit side sure, for the sure. customer right. but we want to make sure we put them into the right type of investment okay. the right type of product for example if somebody has a short-term goal you know um, going on a vacation yep or perhaps they're looking to make a down payment eventually for a house well, you don't want to put them into something that's going to be too far out, even though that rate might be more attractive, because if they take that money out early, they perhaps could pay a penalty. Got it. So what you want to look for is more of a liquid type account, maybe a savings account or a money market account, where the rates are getting better, but they're not inflexible. Okay. You can pull the money as you need to pull it. Without and, getting like a penalty, right. being penalized no for No penalty. Right, Plus, right. the nice thing is you can add to them at any time. Okay. So you'll build that income on the interest side, but you'll also build the balance on adding more deposits to it. Got it. Now, you have some, some other things, too. Um, one of them is ensure the CD term makes sense for you. Exactly. You know, you could take a short-term CD and mm -hmm. get a, a, a better rate than perhaps a savings or money market. Right. If, in fact, you know that I'm going to need that money. I'm going on vacation in four months. I'm right. taking a trip to Europe, and I want to be able to have enough money to really enjoy that trip. Okay. So we might suggest to you, how about a three-month CD? You get a little bit more interest. It'll come due before your trip. You come in, and you can put that money into your debit card or whatever what you're going to use to, to take and make those expenses happen and be comfortable that you've got the money to spend. And so you're not having to worry about whether you've got enough money or anything else as, right. as you're going along. Exactly. Um, one of the, the the other things here, it says ladder your CD. So yeah. what, is, what does that mean? Oh my gosh, it's a great way to go. If again, you have something that's maybe short term, like a vacation, right. but then you have things that you want to accomplish within a year, maybe two years, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You could put separate amounts of money into each of those CDs. Okay, so, you, so it's not just one CD, you can, you can right. actually open and have more, more than, than one. one. More than one, absolutely. Okay, okay. You know, that's the nice thing. You don't have to come in and think, I've just got to have this one thing. Got it. You can have any, as many as you want, and we'll be happy to help and guide you through that. And depending on what the rate environment's like, right now it's obviously in a rising rate, rising rate environment, a three-month CD will probably be shorter term, so it's going to be probably a shorter, less of a rate, but still attractive. Right. But as you get into a one-year, two-year, three-year, you might be out to, you know, a one and a half or something along those lines. And when you ladder them, you've pretty much put a safety net in all of the things that you want to do. Okay. So it's about having a conversation about what your goals are, your short-term goals, your long-term goals. Right. And giving that information we can help you to do that so whether it's a vacation maybe you maybe you're planning to do some work on the house maybe right. your kid is going away to college well, or something like go. that and you yeah. also have to put put money away yeah. for that um, there's also consider bump up CDs right well bump up CD is not really a CD it's a feature that gets attached to some CDs okay and we don't always have that even as a bank you just it's strategic if you will and what that would do is it gives the customer a benefit where if they're in, say, a two-year CD at, um, I'm going to make it up, at 1%, right. and a traditional two-year CD rate goes up to one and a half, they can exercise that one time to bump the rest of the, that CD to that next rate for the remainder of the term. So, for example, it's 1%, you're in a two-year CD, sounds great. 1% at 12 months later of that two years, the rate is now one and a half. And you Got can it. come in and say, I'd like to bump my CD for the next 12 months, because that's the end of that term. Okay, so in other words, so if, if, if it's a two-year CD and the two years is up, and I say, okay, you know what, I really don't need that money right now, can yeah. it, you, you still have to, you still have to get, take well, it up. Well, if or you're you at the term, 
that's done. Okay. So you'd have to then have another discussion about what is the right investment for me at this point. Got it. Okay. But bump ups are not really something that is common. Um, and it's really, like I said, it's more of a feature that in a rising rate environment, you don't see as much because rates are going up anyway. And if you're doing the right things with your investments, you won't need to because if, especially if you ladder. Sure. You know? so, so if someone is, is watching today and they want to go in to see you, is there anything that they need to bring with them, like any paperwork or any, anything they need with them to say, hey, this is what we want to do. Yep. Here's all my info down. Yep. You know what? That's the beauty of being part of our, our, our world. Right. And in our company, um, you don't. Okay. Because all we want to do is sit like this. Got it. We want to sit and say, well, hey, Will, how you doing? What can, okay. I do? what can I do for you today? I want to go away. Okay. Well, that's great. That's yeah. great. What are you thinking of? Uh, I'm thinking of a lot of places, Deb. Oh, uh, well, me too. <laughs> me too. So how can I help you to get there? Right. And so you kind of just go, go through these things and, and go back and forth with them. Yeah. Well, it's all great information. Thanks so much for, for coming in today. Oh, my pleasure. We're Thanks. Gonna start, we're going to start saving, Deb, and plan our next vacation. All right. I, <laughs> sounds good to me. Ready to go. This segment <laughs> was brought to you by Washington Trust. We're going to share a link to their website on ours. That is Roadshow.com.